Hello everyone, it is a Tuesday, and I am, but as you may be judging by this background, I'm currently back at home for a couple weeks visiting the family, and so you have your nostalgic background back as well, um, which of course you haven't seen for a while. I, I do miss this, I don't just miss the background, I miss the angle, I feel like there was like more, it felt more space in terms of like how it's positioned. So, I do miss how things looked, and it's very nice to see it again, that's for sure. Alright, so in Zero, they're doing a Merry Christmas thing. You can build a Santa deck based on, like, Christmas treats and stuff, so it's pretty nice. Make sure to do the event for some free stuff, it's nice. Alright, Shin news, birthday news, it's Shin's birthday tomorrow. Wish him a happy birthday, or something. Alright, and then, for some reason, they announced... That GZ is ending, apparently. Well, they haven't said it's ending yet, but GBT uh, 12? I think it's... No, GBT 14, right? It's 14, I think? GBT 14 is being added with um, Link Joker, Shadows, Royals, uh, Neo Nectar, Gear Chronicle, Nubatama, and freaking DI. Seven clans. Seven clans will be in this set for whatever reason so you got your lure support your messiah support blue ult mal um ztbs with heritage blue washa rine and the gastil old mic sounds crisp as fuck it's the same mic i use this mic in japan too it's just that in japan i don't have the mic arm i don't have this in japan so here i can do this i can bring it up to me which I can do in Japan. I think I'll probably just buy one. It's just that I don't really want to like put stuff up in the dorm when I'm moving in like two months, three months. All right, this Thursday is going to be still streamed despite it being almost New Year's. So they're going to be showing off a uh, new Stoikea. Um, oh, Stoikea no Cycle card. So there's going to be a Cycle card for Stoikea. I don't know what Cycle card is supposed to refer to. That's triple rare and double rare. And then, so two cards for Stoikea. And then we're going to get two cards for Buff Sagara, so a triple and a double. I feel like Buff Sagara gets support every single set. Buff Sagara gets support every single set. Somebody at Bushi really liked Buff Sagara. And it's going to be a Vanguard Zero special, too. On the table, you can actually see they have all the products that's been released this year. So they have all the clan collections. Oh, yeah, because both clan collections came out this year in Japan, huh? Premium collection, the collabs on the right. So you can see here under me. Or the collabs. And they have like the main sets on the left. So this is looking back on all the events um, throughout the year. So 21, 21 December until April 2022, they did the 10th anniversary WGP. And then end of April was Daivangasai. And then mid-July to start of August was the Vanguard City Trial. And then from the 8th, uh, from, uh, sorry, from August 2022 to December 2022, they had the Deluxe Qualifiers, then December was Deluxe Finals. Yeah, it feels so weird seeing the room, right? It's so, it's so odd. It's so weird for you too, because like being back at home, nothing has changed here. Like, in Luxembourg, nothing has changed. There's like a couple, like one or two new shops. I miss your old room more than you do. Once I move, I'm moving in March to my own apartment. And it'll look very nice. I'm definitely going to make it look good. It's just that right now in the dorm, I don't have the ability to customize. Because it's all just like pre-furnished. Pre -furnished. But when I move to the apartment, I have to build everything. You know, all of my furniture from scratch. So, hope the March move isn't too heavy. Oh, it's going to be super heavy. <laughs> it's going to be insanely heavy. But yeah, so I'm definitely going to like gonna be customizing it in a way that it also looks good on streams like get those gamer leds i still haven't connected the old led there the one that used to shine there in the back ikea time yeah dude also shout outs dude one thing i really missed from europe vid hit if you live in a country that has these you are blessed i'm gonna pack my entire suitcase full of these like 100 percent 100 percent will i reach him the new year presentation the one on the 9th, uh, I'll probably ask Kai to do it. Because <laughs> I'll be flying on that day, so I can't. 
product stream in January. It's not really a product stream. It's a Bushiroad IP stream. So they're doing, there's like everything. It's like Argonavis, Bang Dream, D4DJ, like is everything is in there. So I personally don't expect any, like much for Vanguard. Maybe like one announcement or something. So I don't know. I don't expect too much for the Vanguard end of things. I'll do my own video talking about this year in Vanguard for me because um, it's been a very good one. I've topped a lot. I got like what? Top eight, top four, second, and then top four and top eight. So wait, let me count that. Top eight, top four, second, top eight, top five times. Five tops this year for, um, for Vanguard. Really good, considering I haven't topped in Vanguard since 2013 before this. So it's been a very good year. Been a very successful year for me. Am I playing One Piece CCG or Shadowverse Evolve or Battle Spirit Saga? Well, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I do play Shadowverse Evolve already in Japanese because I live in Japan normally. And the Battle Spirit Saga, no, because I can play Battle Spirits in Japanese in its original release. And One Piece, no, because you can't play tournaments for it because the lottery is always messed up. Still play Master Duel? Hell no! Hell no, bro! You have to gamble to play a tournament? Yeah. So, card games that have... that are too popular and don't have the space to accommodate their popularity, you have to apply for lottery to make it in to the locals. So, honestly speaking, I do not want to play a card game where I cannot play at locals at my leisure. Even Pokemon, which is the number one most popular card game, like, Pokemon fixes that issue by having shops that have 120 player space, or like 60 player space per local. So you always have people, you know, you always have space. One Piece locals only have space for like 16 at a time, and there's like 200 people applying per local. So it's like, lol, XD. So yeah, that's a nice thing of like Vanguard. Like Vanguard also sometimes, like when, when Vanguard was, um... Vanguard does have this problem sometimes in Japan, but... Vanguard is first come first serve, so it's not lottery. So with Vanguard, as long as you sign up, when the signups go up, you will always get in because usually it doesn't fill up, fill up for like a few weeks, because the signups always go up a month in advance for locals. So you can I can already sign up for locals for January right now, and like until the very end of January, and on the 11th I will be able to sign up for the ones in February, right? So as long as you know when to sign up, you're going to be fine. It's just that you, like, last minute pulling up to a lot of shops, like, during popular seasons, when it's, like, tournament season, like, WGP season, it's kind of hard. <laughs> They're talking about how, like, Amonesu is supposed to be the Lyrical Monasterio ambassador, because she's from Lyrical Lily, like, the D4 DJ unit. But she's, like, the Lyrical ambassador is the Youthberg Onisan, <laughs> because she mains Youthberg. <laughs> So she's like, ah, oh, the Miracle Ambassador has become the Youth Progo Nesan. <laughs> Alright, so starting from today, they're doing the Megumi New Year sleeve campaign. So if you spend 2,000 yen or more at stores that stock Vanguard, um, you get a pack of Ride Deck sleeves with New Year Megumi. These are selling very fast. Because like, already on Merukari, there was like somebody selling a pack of 50 of them for like 12,000 yen. <laughs> It's an expensive pack of sleeves, man. People really like their Megumi. All right, Magnolia support time. Let's take a look. We have um, Shikaku Jukakuju wins up. So let me move the chat. So this guy says in the deck and in the hand, um, if you have a great two or greater Vanguard, that has a different is a different named um what is it like mythical beast wild beast whatever magnolia's archetype is um if you have a vanguard that's great to work greater with a different name like uh sylvan beast vanguard then this card gets grade minus one in deck and hand so basically as long as you're grade two or higher he's grade two in deck and hand and then regrets are continuous um, if during this turn, your Magnolian named Vanguard has been placed, this unit gets plus 10k power. And it's drawn by Kawasumi. This is a double rare. It's a Lisa lot. Um, except without the part that makes Lisa lot really good. <laughs> it's a Lisa lot in terms of being a great two that is callable, but it's not a great two in terms of, you know, not plusing. <laughs> 
but I guess it's yeah, it's a 23k beater. Yeah, I, I guess it's like it's a 23k beater once you're on. So you can call him on turn two, and then call or when you ride on turn three, he becomes a 23k beater, which is pretty good. You can make him 28 with Magnolia's effect, so not too bad, honestly. And you actually, yeah, so it doesn't feel Kairos as well. Yeah, for the ride line and stuff too. So it's not too bad, not too bad. All right, next we have Sylvan Beast Goldoto. Goldoto. He says in the drop. Uh, when during your ride phase your Magnolia Vanguard is placed, if you have no copies of this guy in the soul, you can put him to the soul from the drop and then choose your Vanguard and give it plus 5k power. Okay, so it provides soul. And back row rearguard circle, when it attacks for that battle, this unit gets plus 10k, plus 10k power. And at the end of that battle, if this unit is in the middle back row rearguard circle, then you can retire it to draw one. Hmm. So it's a triple rare that provides soul and powers up your vanguard, which is also nice because that means that the power lines are a bit harder to guard on Magnolia. Because Magnolia is always like 13 if you don't Persona or Ryan or if you're on Elder. So that makes it nice. And. Inlet Amungos, that's right. She's another inlet. <laughs> they made inlet too. <laughs> they made inlet too. They did it. So then the second skill is basically like it's a 20k attacker, 25 with like Magnolia slash Magnolia Elder's buff. 25k swing that if it's behind the Vanguard, pops itself to draw one. And then you just chuck it back in the soul. And you can just, you know, soul blast it out. It's nice that it kind of like cycles itself back in into the soul like that. And that way when you rewrite Magnolia Elder, you can also just call this out again. So that's actually pretty good. Damn, talking about the card reveals on Tuesday streams is so much easier when it's in the middle of the day. Because here in, in Luxembourg, it's like it's almost 2 p.m. when this is happening. When I when I do these streams in Japan, it's 9 slash 10 p.m. So I'm like already tired. I'm like, it's been a long day. I'm ready to go to bed. You know, and I'm just like, okay, here's the card. And uh, it sure looks cool. Whereas now it's like, oh, my brain is actually active. I just went to the gym. I just had lunch. I'm actually alive. <laughs> All right, next week. Oh my God, we're getting three cards for Youthberg. And new counter heals, a new kind of counter heal. And then we're gonna have a New Year's variety corner and some special campaign as well. It's gonna be announced. Damn, so we're getting three Youthberg supports and a new counter heal. All right.